Hello, my name is John at D-Wing Construction and I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about when is the appropriate time to think about calling a roofer to come out and take a look. There's something to be said for the wear and tear that you're going to see on here and one of the things that you're going to notice <clears throat> when you're on the ground, especially looking up, that you'll see occasionally if it's windy out and you'll catch a flap that's slipping up like this, that is a definite sign that it's time to get a, uh, have a roofer come out and take a look at it. Also, if you can take a look at this here, the granular loss on shingles is probably the number one reason why we get phone calls to uh, prevent water getting inside the roof. When the granular loss gets this dramatic, what happens is all of those granulars get stuck into your gutter. Not only that, but then it exposes, as you can see, all the black, which is the fiberglass and asphalt. That is a great predictor that you're going to have leaks uh, relatively soon. The other thing that you got to be careful of about when these tabs get lifted up because of the wind and whatnot, in some of the older homes, the roofers did not really put down proper applications about ice and water shield and uh, synthetic felt. There's many times where we'll go out to a roof and we'll actually lift one of these flaps up and this is exactly what we're seeing. We're actually seeing the hard deck or the plywood underneath, which is um, uh, certainly not good. You know, the obvious thing that you really want to take a look at if you're experiencing leaks, by all means give us a call so that we can nip this thing in the bud very quickly. But from a exterior standpoint, when you can look at your roof and you happen to see on a windy day if a flap lifts up like that, or you start to see some big discolorations in the shingles themselves, that's the granular loss that you're looking for. That's when it's time to give us a call at D-Wing Construction. What I'd like to talk to you now about is the really the two different types of shingles that you see on most homes today. The older style is what's called a three tab shingles. There are three tabs per three foot strip here. This is a little bit outdated. The new shingles that you'll see that are being offered now are the what's called the architectural shingles. Design, no comparison, it makes the roof pop. It's just magnificent. And really, the key that we use here for the Owens Corning product is that Sure Nail technology, once they put six nails in that strip and it gets nailed into the hard deck, it is just not going anywhere. It's a, just such a great product. There is a variety of colors that you can certainly choose from, both their traditional colors and, of course, now they have some new colors that they're uh, coming out with in the, in, the, uh, in the designer section here. And then it really becomes a matter of what do you like. We'll certainly match anything that we can for you. You know, if you're, if you're in the market for certainly a new roof, take a good look at the, the life of the shingle. If it's been on there between 15 and 20 years, it's probably a good indicator that it's time to uh, have that uh, taken a look at. And most importantly, with the new colors that are out there today, there are so many great colors that will really make the roof pop and give you a lot more curb appeal. The entire process of getting your roof, like I say, with an average of 3,000 square feet, you're going to find that's normally a one-day process. By the end of the day, the, uh, the job will be complete. Those were some educational tips that were offered to you from D-Wing Construction on when is the appropriate time to have a roofer come out. If you are in the need of a roof or certainly would like to have it evaluated, please feel free to give D-Wing a call. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope this helps.